Hi, and thank you for purchasing the TaylorMade Bimini Top. Right now we're going to go through the installation and assembly of your top. First thing you want to do is open up the box and make sure all your component parts are in there. You should have three left and right ABC bows, three center bows, a hardware bag, four tie-down straps, and your two center straps. Make sure your fabric skin is also nearby. The next step in assembling your Bimini top is getting together the necessary tools. You're going to need a power drill, a 1 8 inch drill bit, an Allen wrench, and a flathead screwdriver. The next step in assembling your Bimini top is putting together the port and starboard frame assemblies. What you want to do is take your A bow, which is the longest, straightest bow, and place it on your workstation. Then take your seat bow, which is the short bow with only one bend, and line it up curve to curve with the A bow. Next, take one of your jaw slides and with the screw head facing out, slide it onto the A bow. And align it with the eye hole on the C bow. Pull out the screw, slide the C bow into place, replace the screw. Making sure these stay lined up, take your Allen wrench and tighten up the screw on the bottom to lock the SIBO in place to the ABO. Next, and take your, next take your BBO and repeat the same process with making sure the dog leg, the outside of the curve, is facing up. Once again, remember to tighten up the screw on the bottom. And that completes your port and starboard frame assembly. The next step in assembling your Bimini bow top is placing your snap buttons into your center bows. You should have six snap buttons in your hardware bag and three center bows in the box. What you want to do is squeeze the snap bows together, insert them into the edge of the center bow until they pop out of the pre-drilled holes, like so. Just repeat this process for all six snap bows on both ends of the metal bow. The next step in assembling your Bimini top is putting the center bows into your port and starboard frame assemblies and adding the fabric. The first thing you want to do in this process is lay out your port and starboard assemblies so that the A bow is on top and the Allen screws are facing up. Next take your fabric and orient it so the back is facing is towards you and that is evidenced by four triangular shaped cutouts on the bow sleeve. Take your center bow, slide it into your A bow, and using your button snaps, slide it into place. Repeat this process for all three of your bows. You're now ready to add your fabric. We're now ready to add the fabric onto your Bimini bow top. What we want to do is take our A bow, which is the long straight bow and should be on top if you already orientated the bows correctly. We're going to slide it into the rear of the, the rear fabric bow sleeve, which is evidenced by having four triangular cutouts through the sleeve. Next, we want to make sure we have two tie down straps, which are evidenced by the clips and two bow adjustment straps which have an adjustable one end 
and fixed on the other. Sliding the A-bow into the sleeve, when you reach the first cutout, we're going to put the tie-down strap through, making sure that the adjustment buckle on the opposite end faces towards you and away from the fabric. When you reach the second cutout, we're going to take the fixed end of the bow adjustment strap, slide it through the bow, once again making sure that the adjustment buckle is Continue sliding the fabric down. Until you reach your next cutout. Which once again, you're gonna take one of the bow adjustment straps, fixed end, slide it through. When you reach your fourth and final cutout, you're going to put your final tie down strap through the bow, and finish up with your snap buttons exposed. Now that we have our A bow through the A bow sleeve at the rear of the bimini top, we're going to insert the other bows into the other sleeves of the top. Once you've orientated your fabric underneath the frame assemblies, we want to stand up the frame assembly and slide it out like so. Our next step is to detach the center bow on the C bow, which is your shortest bow, and feed it through the center pocket. Taking the adjustable end of the bow adjustment strap, we want to slide it on to the center C bow. Do the same on the other side. Once that has been completed, reattach the C bow, making sure the outer arc is upward. Now to slide the final bow, which is the B bow, through the front sleeve of the fabric, which is evidenced by only two cutouts for straps. Just slide the bow through the sleeve, and when you get to the cutouts, attach the fixed ends of the straps and continue feeding your Bebo through the front of the fabric. When you get to the second cutout, add your final tie-down strap. pull through so that the snap buttons are out the end. To finish assembly of our Bimini boat top, we're going to take our other frame assembly and simply slide it onto the end of each of the three center bows, making sure that our B bow is in the front, our C bow in the middle, and our A-bow in the rear of the fabric. Once that's finished, simply depress the snap buttons
and slide the bows into place. Assembly is now complete. The next step is mounting your bimini onto your boat. The bimini comes with two different types of mounts. One is a side mount, putting on the side of the hull, and the other is a deck mount for putting on top of the deck edge of your boat. First thing, for this boat, we've selected the deck mount. First thing you're going to want to do is select the area of the boat you'd like to shade and mount the, and mount the bimini in the middle of its length. For example, if your bimini is 6 feet long, your mounting point will be at 36 inches from the front. Once you've marked your distance, lay your mounting bracket over, mark your drill holes, then take your drill, and make the proper drill holes. We now want to attach our mount to the boat, making sure that the screw is to the outside of the mount. Place it on your, over your pre-drilled holes. But first, what we want to do is slightly countersink the holes. Take your Phillips head screwdriver bit and slightly countersink by drilling down into these holes. Now, place your mount over your holes. next step, once you've pre-drilled your holes with your 1 8 inch drill bit, is to simply attach the mount with your drill. And then repeat the process for the other side of the boat. The next step is to attach your bimini frame to the mounting brackets that you've just bolted into your boat. What we want to do is take the frame and the eye end that is on the end of the ABO and simply slide it in to the mounting bracket, take the provided screw, slide it through both, tighten it up with your hand, and then finish off the tightening with a screwdriver or drill. Now that we have our bimini top attached to the boat and up, we need to select the locations for our eye straps so that the adjustable tie-down straps support the bimini frame and hold it taut to the boat. After selecting the position for our eye straps right here, we drilled holes, countersunk them, and screwed in the eye straps much in the same manner as we did for the deck mounting brackets. Once that's finished, we simply take our tie-down strap, clip it into the eye strap, and tighten as necessary. Once you've uh, attached your eye straps for your tie-down straps and tightened them all into place, as you can see at the four corners, we're next going to adjust our center bow strap. What we want is the center bow to align with the center seam of the fabric. So simply place the center bow along the seam and tighten up your two adjustment straps. Now the top's ready for use.